Hi Sagittarius, I hope you all are doing well. Before we get into this, I would like to set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated, and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. Okay, Sagittarius, let's see what's going on for us. We may be prioritizing shadow work right now at this point in time. I'm seeing something psychological happening in the very center of this, and it has to do with a past experience that we had, something that affected us deeply. And maybe we're understanding that it's time to address this, whatever it is. Maybe you feel like mm, a past experience may have hardened you off to something and maybe you're doing work in the heart chakra. It's almost like the difference between choosing to take accountability and responsibility for things going on and knowing that you get to determine what your future and your mindset looks like versus slipping into a mindset where you feel like you're not going to be effective and you can't make things happen and focusing on things that turned out in ways that you wish it hadn't. Maybe we're also addressing the ways that um, our shadow has affected outcomes as well. This can also be addressing our reaction to past betrayals that we've experienced, that we perceive to have experienced, and what our response means within that space. Like, maybe you were hurt by something and you're addressing, like, the ways that that can continue manifesting. Until you take a deeper look at it. Something like that, Sag. And I'm seeing you have success with this. I'm looking at the chariot popping out here. And this is the way that we learn from our past experiences. And grow from that. To be successful in the future, it's almost like addressing this state of mind that you recognize is not helpful to you anymore. And I'm seeing that this is part of a karmic test. It's like getting out of this space mentally. One where I'm hearing catastrophizing. Interesting. Catastrophizing is like thinking about the worst possible outcomes when we make a choice. Maybe some of us are addressing this. This is based in anxiety and fear. It's like maybe you also left, felt left out by something, by an experience that you had, and this is also something that you're addressing. Karmically part of a test for you. It's like to see if you're going to get over the hump of whatever this is. This is also finding validation within yourself rather than looking outwardly for that. <clears throat> yeah, and wanting to focus on what you can become. Maybe there's a career opportunity that's hidden from you right now until you pass whatever karmic test this is. This is about believing that, believing in your efficacy and what you can do. And I'm seeing there was um, somebody that you were paired up with that you felt betrayed by. 
Remember, energies can always be reversed. I'm looking at Pisces. I'm looking at Cancer. I'm looking at Taurus here. I'm looking at a past relationship that we had with someone. This can be a long-term relationship. This can be a marriage for some. I'm looking at the Four of Wands next to the Hierophant over here. I'm seeing something that we need to let go of. This is like all about releasing the Five of Pentacles here. And that's about the mental energy that we need to let go of. Something that's not benefiting us any longer. Maybe also releasing this, this belief, um, this narrative where we feel like we don't belong anywhere. And I'm seeing us looking within at a karmic test. I'm getting that this all has to do with the psyche space. It's like something that you need to find when you look within. And once you recognize and address that, it's something that you can release. And it's something that's going to open up an avenue that's currently blocked for you. And I'm seeing this be related to a position that you want to step into. In order for you to open up avenues that are work-related and or relationship-related, it's like you want to feel harmony in the workspace or in the career that you're stepping into. And for others, this has to do with a relationship, something that you're trying to manifest. But again, there's something with the shadow that needs to be addressed here. And Spirit's trying to help you out. I'm, I'm here rediscovering the past. It's almost like I'm seeing someone like flip through a book, almost like memories. And I'm seeing Spirit and your higher self kind of like walking you through something here that needs to be addressed. Like your guys are trying to help you with whatever this is. This can be, um, this can be memories from childhood. This can also be from past relationships. The ways that we perceive ourselves in relation to other people. Maybe even where we compensate or where our ego takes control and um, lives things out rather than our authentic selves. It's like, where do you feel like you're guarded and how do you work on that in order to clear your chakras? As I said before, I'm looking at Pisces, I'm looking at Cancer, I'm looking at Taurus, and I'm looking at Virgo here. I hope that you guys are doing well. I'm seeing something that we're being guided to put to an end here. It's like being a conduit for your higher self rather than anything that is based off of regrets or anything that you will regret in the future. This is all about shaping and molding our behavior and the ways that that impacts us and our future selves. Especially in um, in relation to our personal relationships, I'm seeing. It's almost like I'm seeing this review again and it's like what happened in past relationships and how does that affect me now currently and how does that affect me in the future? I'm seeing boundaries that we need to set, maybe even with someone. This can be someone we're in a close relationship with. This can even be... A relationship from the past that we're learning to set boundaries with that's going to change the way that our future unfolds. You could have also felt disappointed by the way that you were received by someone as well and maybe this is something that we're working on. You could be watching tarot readings on someone. I'm looking at the Magician and I'm looking at the Page of Swords. Maybe you're also working to learn on, um, learn about manifesting too. 
because the magician speaks about taking all of the elements, um, all four of the elements and using that to combine it um, to be a conduit for your manifestations and divine translation I'm hearing. And I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing something from the past that we felt disappointed by, that we felt hurt by. I'm looking at the lovers here. The lovers represent Gemini. I'm seeing something that we're successful with, maybe overcoming a past relationship that we felt hurt by. And maybe now we're learning to set boundaries with someone. If this was not you that set boundaries, I'm seeing that whoever this person is that set boundaries, I'm seeing that they are doing as they wish is what I'm getting. I'm looking at Mercury energy, which rules Virgo and Gemini, and I'm also looking at the lovers, which is Gemini, and I'm looking at the Empress on the bottom of the deck, which can speak on matters of interpersonal relationships, just as Justice does, which is Libra. I'm seeing there be a sense of balance and honesty that we're bringing to something. Maybe something also being called out about the way that we felt in the past. You could be expressing this to someone actually, but you don't know how you want to say it. Or maybe you need time to think about that. It's like you want to say something, but you don't know what to say. But I'm seeing that you're going to be successful with this. For some of us, we could have been dealing with somebody that wanted to end a relationship. This could also be you, Sagittarius. You ended a relationship here. Maybe you felt confused about why you were brought together with somebody and then um, you were able to get clarity on that situation. And you understood maybe our understanding why something didn't work out because it was justice for whatever this is not to work out like it wasn't it wasn't meant to be and this was why you were guided to end whatever it is or that other person did because boundaries needed to be set I'm seeing and that's why this relationship ended or this energetic exchange whatever it was there was definitely a sense of being drawn together with somebody here. But it was karmic justice for this relationship to end. It was part of the protection I'm getting. I'm hearing protection detail. So 1326 on the time. If you feel guided, look up that um, angel number. I'm looking at Aquarius popping out here. I'm seeing something we're healing from, something we were upset over. Aquarius. I'm seeing healing that's being done after an ending. And it's like whatever confusion you had been feeling, maybe even because of this ending, I'm seeing you move on from that as you continue healing. For some, there could be an Aquarius that you're moving on from. And it looks like you're going to be both finding yourself and maybe also finding yourself in a relationship. It's like I'm seeing you go towards something divine. I'm also hearing soluble. I'm hearing patent. Interesting. Maybe you feel like you rushed into something or that if this isn't you, then it would be somebody else that rushed into some sort of relationship. I'm hearing prematurely. I'm seeing some sort of argument that we're healing from. 
argument, disagreement, something like that. Again, I'm looking at Aquari Aquarius as the only major arcana here. If this is the Aquarius in your chart, this can be some sort of inner conflict that you're resolving, Sag. Yeah, I'm looking at, it's like as you move on from something, I'm seeing clarity that you find. And it's like some type of love either that we had or somebody had for us. It's like you're recognizing another component to this and why it wasn't working out. And maybe it wasn't what either of you guys were looking for. And I'm seeing a really big shift that we're going through. I'm seeing you trying to figure out a plan here, Sag. I'm seeing you working with someone here. You could be working with somebody to figure out um, some sort of plan related to your stability. But I'm seeing you feel stressed out about this. I'm hearing maintaining responsibility. I'm also hearing stability again. It's like maybe you feel like a goal that you have is really um really a big a big step or something really big to obtain and you feel a bit overwhelmed and maybe working with somebody is going to help you out with that. Maybe you're also recognizing too that when you jump into things um, impulsively before it's time, you recognize also the overwhelm that comes with that. It's almost like the ducks aren't in a row and I'm seeing you recognize that. And this can also be with allowing people to rush in and like engaging in things when you don't feel like it's time yet and understanding the overwhelm that's tied to that. Because remember, energies can always be reversed. And I also feel like it is a reflection of where we are as well when it comes to the different energies. It's like somebody can be rushing in or you can be rushing into something. And I'm seeing us recognize something that we want to change here because you don't want to be feeling overwhelmed any longer. And I'm seeing us taking a break here. I'm looking at Aquarius, Leo, um, I'm hearing Pisces really strongly, and I'm looking at Scorpio. And I'm seeing that when we take a break, there's something that we're getting connected with, something that's balancing out again, and it has to do with our intuition, our creativity, and our emotional space. Maybe we're also learning to hold space for our emotions and our feelings as well so we can understand what's going on there. Taking a deep look into self, maybe reflective work that we're doing, introspection, things along those lines. It's like to really understand what's going on there and to get in touch. All right, my friends, we are going to end it there. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.